Hey there, welcome back to Minifig Monday. Today we will be taking a look at a very awesome minifig. This is Deadshot from the DC Universe. This character or this minifigure is a uh, pretty rare. He only came in one set back in 2016, the Gotham City Cycle Chase. I was fortunate enough to be able to have been offered this figure through a trade recently and uh, very happy to have Deadshot. He when that set came out, I really, really wanted that set, specifically for this figure, and I just, I never got it. I was never able to. But now I have the figure, I have the Harley Quinn as well as the Batman from that set, and it's really cool to have him as a minifig. And I, to be honest, I didn't know that much about the character, um, you know, recently, I guess, but, or just in general, I haven't really researched him that well. I don't know him that well, but I've been getting into his past and his backstory. It's actually really interesting. Um, I first became aware of Deadshot pretty much when the Suicide Squad movie came out. I mean, I knew he was a character before that, but I didn't really know him that well until that movie. And then now I'm kind of starting to get into his history. It's actually pretty interesting. Um, but here he is. His only appearance as a minifig. He got this big freaking giant bazooka. He's got a jetpack. He's got arm printing. Yes, he does have that. It's gonna be kind of hard to show you with 360. Let me take this out of his hand for just a minute so you can see his detail. And uh, it's just fantastic, the way they designed him. It's awesome. I love his bright red jumpsuit. It's uh, He's got the yellow gloves. Now this dead shot is based primarily on the, I think the Secret Six uh, comic books as well as the Deadshot Beginnings uh, original comic book series that was like a, it was a, uh, let's see, when was that, when was that made? 1980, I think it was 80s or 90, I think it was 80s, uh, an 80s comic series, and he looked like this. So this figure is based on his original outfit from the original comics, which is great. Um, and I like all the detail on it, but let's talk about his accessory first, which is this bazooka. Let me move him just a little bit. So this is a brick-built gun, obviously. It's built from pieces. It's got a stud shooter. Um, well, as I drop it, one second. It's a little hard to keep track of this uh, thing. It's actually pretty cool. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to perfectly replicate his gun. Um, this is like all the pieces that I had. It's the same design as it was in the set. It's just not the same colors exactly. But I kind of like this one. It makes it more mechanical, which I like. I was able to get the cheese slope there, and that axe has his sight. It's got the long barrel. It's got a stud up here. It's got a gun for the handle. There's a stud shooter, obviously. You know how those work. You press that down. And it's, honestly, it makes him a little bit top-heavy, but it looks really good when he has it in his hand because his scope on his eye uh, lines up right with this, um, this uh, you know, um, clear piece and it looks really really awesome he does have a jetpack as well which is very very cool it's got a nice build to it it looks very proper you can angle these any way you like this is like a this piece is like a lego friends um what is it called a handle piece like for vehicles and stuff that is interesting, and it's made for his jetpack, and it actually looks really cool. And I like how the handles kind of poke up poke up above his shoulders. It actually looks pretty sick. He does have back printing. You can kind of see a little bit there. We'll get to that in a little bit. But I just want to talk about how, how just rad this figure looks. Like, it just looks so distinctive, and he looks like he could mess someone up. Like, it looks so great. Like, they designed it so well. Um, I mean, he's got like this, he, obviously he's like wearing a muscle suit. Um, he's got the Deadshot logo right there. And all of the silver stuff is metallic. So when you shine it in the light, obviously it will shine and shimmer. Just pretty sick. Um, you may be thinking, wait, he has yellow gloves? He's a minifigure? A regular minifigure? No, no, no. This is based on his original look. So he has the yellow gloves and, uh, those are meant to be gloves. They're not his hands which work really well. And I like how bright his outfit is for the most part, like this red and this yellow make him look really pop, like it makes him stand out. Um, and that's the comic book design, which I like. But the arm printing is just 
excellent. I mean, look at this detail that they put into this. I mean, jeez. They didn't do, do this much detail. I mean, he's got his stripes. He's got his trademark wrist guns there on both sides. Yep, both sides. And it looks awesome. And I like the fact that his legs are, like, silver. Um, and then he's got the red printing, which looks really good. It actually matches pretty well. Um, people are complaining that maybe he could have dual legs, maybe, like, you know, red boots and then the silver up here. You know what? It doesn't really matter. I think it looks fantastic either way. Um, but yeah, uh, before I talk about the head, I'm actually going to take the head off just once, just for this one video, just because I want to show the back printing and the way that the jetpack is built. Hold on one second. It says I decapitate Mr. Deadshot here. One second, let me just show you the back of that, just to be precise and, you know, uh, complete. So it's more of these printing, more of the printing, he's got like the stripes, he's got more pouches, continuing the belt. It's a really cool suit. I like, I really, really love the suit design, especially from the 80s. I think it's actually the best look for him, although the Will Smith version is equally as iconic, I think, at this point. Yeah, that's the back printing. And the way the jetpack is built, it's actually pretty interesting. He's got the neck piece with the clip, and that clip connects to the handle, and those pieces uh, are thrusters. They can be angled, which is nice. And uh, it all just comes together, and it makes his jetpack, which looks pretty darn amazing to me. Uh, but let's put him back together. Let me put his bazooka back in his hand. Actually, you know what? I'll save that for a minute. But here is his head, and this head is probably the coolest part. Um, it's very silver, obviously matching the original comics. And I like how it's silver. Obviously, it's not an android. He's a guy in a mask. His name is Floyd Lawton. That's his real name. He goes by Deadshot. That's his professional name. And it's actually really sick. I like the fact that you can see, like, the ridges of his mask, and it's kind of covered up by his eyes. And it's cool because... If I zoom in, maybe you can see. One eye is squinted, you know, and it's meant to be his minifig eye. And then the other eye is his targeting device. You know, the, the famous uh, eyepiece, which of course he is very well known for. I think it's cool. And obviously, because he's wearing a mask, there is no alternate face, which doesn't bother me in the slightest. Because one, it wouldn't make sense. And two, it would just show through. So I'm glad that they didn't do that. Obviously, if he had an unmasked head with hair, that would be where you could put the alternate face. But I think it's awesome. I, I might try to make him all unmasked at some point, but the head is just too cool. Um, I think I just want to have him with the mask on. I think that looks the best to me. Um, I'm so happy to have this figure, man. I've been wanting this figure ever since it came out in the set, and I've just never been able to get it. Same, similar to Deadpool as well. I hope I can get him at some point. Um, I think they went the extra mile, though. I mean, he's got the guns, or a gun, and he's got... I love the fact that Lego printed his arms. I mean, that is just so deluxe. When Lego prints arms, you know they mean business. So that's great. He's got the jetpack. I love the colors, like the silver and the red look particularly amazing, along with the yellow gloves. I really like that. And I think... The design work on the decoration on his suit is just so great, like the Deadshot logo. I love that they made the printing reflective, like the silver. Um, and it just looks just awesome. Like, this is just a great minifigure. And to be honest, there hasn't been a minifigure that has taken the place of second place for minifigures. I guess for me, my, like my favorite minifigs that I have. Uh, I'd say Rinsler is up there. Wild Style, um, Boba Fett obviously is my favorite, but I think the Deadshot is such an amazing minifigure and a good character that I think this is my second favorite minifigure that I have in my whole collection, and that's pretty, that's a pretty high bar because I have so many figures at this point, so I just love it, I love it, Deadshot is fantastic, as a character he's really interesting, he's got a tragic backstory, it kind of makes sense why he's the way he is, he's interesting as a hitman but he cares for his family it's kind of cool um and he just looks rad 
looks so rad with the look and I don't know I'm I don't think Lego will make another Deadshot again I don't think they would have a reason to unless they were doing Suicide Squad specific movie sets or you know something like that um so I love it I think it's awesome um I'm just I'm grateful to have it and it's in pretty mint condition so yeah just amazing great figure I'm gonna make like a stand for him I think to make him fly around I think that would be really cool uh, or even him just standing around I think that would be nice too so yeah Boba Fett is my favorite minifigure that I have but then Deadshot comes in second place so yeah a DC character coming in for your fa second favorite minifig I know it's a little weird but you know what I love him he's great and he, yeah I'm looking forward to seeing more of him but that's really it for this video hope you enjoyed it let me know what you think of Deadshot here. Have you seen the set that he came in? Do you guys have that set? Um, what do you think of him as a character? Uh, do you like this minifigure? Do you think they did a good job? I love that they did the comic book design. Um, that's pretty cool. I like that. I also hope to get Deathstroke one day because he came in a similar size set. Um, the Batboat Harbor Pursuit. That one I want to get someday as well. I'm just surprised that Lego even made this character because he's a hitman. He's like an assassin, a mercenary. So I don't understand how that got past the censors for Lego standards, but okay, whatever. I'm just grateful we have him. He's awesome. Great character. Um, and yeah, that's all I have to say for this one. It's fantastic. Lego did a killer job with this figure. Let me know what you guys think down below. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Take care. Have a great day.